Good morning, this is Breakfast with Susanna Reid and Bill Turnbull. Good morning. On the programme, we're going to be taking a look at the pioneering technique of using electricity to shrink the hearts of people with heart failure. We're going to be meeting the man about to become one of the first patients to get the treatment, and we're going to be talking to the surgeon who will be performing the surgery. Later this week, the government will outline plans to crack down on questionable whiplash claims, which are pushing up mm. car insurance premiums. The measures will include using independent panels to assess injuries. We'll get the opinions of a GP, actually Dr Rosemary, mm. and a personal injury lawyer. Bob Geldof may have daughters called Peaches, Pixie and Fifi Trixabel, but even he draws the line at his grandson's name, which is Astala. We're going to be discussing why celebrities are so keen to give their kids unusual names. And after nine, the next two evictees from the TV talent show The Voice will be here on the sofa. First though, our main news this morning, large parts of England and Wales are preparing themselves for further flooding today. The British Olympic Association has lost its legal battle to stop drug cheats who've already served bans from representing Great Britain. The warning that Britain is at significant risk from criminal gangs who cultivate cannabis on a commercial scale. Are you disturbed? No. And you wouldn't want to disturb a shark? No, you wouldn't. Would a shark of any description, mm. even if it only eats zooplankton. Even if it's only basking. It's got a huge mouth, hasn't it? Uh, Sally is at Manchester City's Etihad Stadium ahead of tonight's huge derby game. Standing ready in the tunnel. Uh, Gates United. Morning! Good morning to you both. I want much recently in media coverage of that story. Now, Mark, I know that you don't describe yourself as disabled. and you. Uh, but you probably have a view on this story because people have a certain perception. And it affected you professionally when you went for a job interview once and told them. Well, well uh, uh, um, uh. there has been a lot of weather about. Oh, ever so slightly. So let's talk to the person who knows. It's Carol. Morning, Carol. Good morning. What sort of thing should I not say? Don't. I just. You also follow back a certain number of people. Mm -hmm. Will you? Yeah, sure. Are you, you, you'll follow me on Twitter. Yep. See, it's going. Loading. Yes, I'm gonna get more. She's gonna get. She's gonna get more. Do you think? Do you think I'll get more followers? You're 18 now. Mm. You've been massively successful, selling ridiculous numbers of albums. You phenomenal. Come Largely you? helped, I suppose, by the the Twitter bit, isn't it? Really? Yeah. He, well, as you said, he's got 21 million followers on Twitter. I can't believe you actually got him to follow you. That was amazing. <laughs> well, 21 million followers on Twitter. What What occurred to me was, you know, that's like being president of a small country. You know, if you if you told your followers to do something, just in yeah. people.